This episode of Yoga Amazing is brought to you by Picture Life, the best way to protect and secure your photos and videos. Picture Life works on Mac, Windows, and iPhone, and even backs up your Facebook and Instagram pics, all for only $7 a month. For a free two-month trial, visit picturelife.com slash yoga. Welcome everyone to this edition of the Yoga Amazing Video Podcast. I am Chaz, I'm your host, and welcome to your studio. That's right, this is always your studio because you give me the ideas and we do class. We do yoga together to become healthier. Now let's get right into this week's email. Oh, it wasn't an email. It came in from Twitterverse and Facebook and Cindy requested that I do a yoga series uh, for lower back pain. So that's what our focus is gonna be. So if you have lower back issues, it'll be great for you. If you don't have lower back issues, you'll still get the benefits from it as well. It's just good stuff. So thank you, Cindy, for this request. And if you have an idea, please send it to me, Chaz at yogamazing.com. Of course, you can find me on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And if you're looking for Yoga Amazing past episodes, go to yogamazing.com. You can get the iPhone, iPad app. You can get the archive, or you can subscribe to Yoga Amazing 24-7, where the only place you can get full high-def versions with no speaking and no advertising. Check it out at yogamazing.com. So remember, as we go through today's class, to breathe, relax, and have fun in this edition of the Yoga Amazing video podcast. From here, let's take it right into child's pose. I know we start every class like this, but child's pose is an excellent pose to do for lower back problems. So just stretch it out of here and relax. Drop your forehead to the floor. And take these first few minutes just to relax, settle into the class, and breathe. Big inhales, big exhales. Let the body move with the breath. And slowly bring yourself to lying on the floor and we're going to start out like this as I would call the, the, the sphinx pose so we're just going to stay here draw the shoulder blades down the back rooting the hips into the floor deep in the breath and as I always would say this is like a pose when I was a kid I used to always lay on you know sit on the floor and watch TV like this so maybe bring back some memories for you but from here just breathe relax and we're going to go a little bit deeper here in a moment several variations of this and then I want you to drop it down then bring your hands closer to the chest and typically in the cobra pose I would say bring it only to here but I want you to bring it up a little bit higher draw the shoulder blades in rooting the hips down deep in the breath Keeping your hands where they are, inhale. And as you exhale, now this time, just bring it up a slight lift. Don't push with the hands this time. Deep in the breath, using your lower back only. And then release and push it back to a child's pose for just a breath. Get a nice stretch there on the back. And then from here, bring it into a uh, cat and cow pose. So make sure the shoulders are over the rings of the wrist, knees are hips width apart. And from here we're looking up, inhaling, and as you exhale, round, tuck, and squeeze. Inhale, looking up, and exhale, round, tuck, and squeeze. Now just follow your breath, breathing in and out on your own, and just moving through the pose with grace. And then bring yourself back to the table. And from here, I want you to dig your toes in the mat. 
I'm gonna angle myself a little bit and you're just gonna push yourself back into a squat. And now I want you to work on opening up your feet wide, sticking your bottom way back, and then opening it up and then taking it down. Now, some people may be able to get this far, some people may be on their toes, but remember, stick out your bottom way, way back and try to work on getting your feet forward, okay? Now I'll turn a little bit sideways so you can see me now. So you're gonna stick your bottom way back, drop it in, and bring it to here. Put your arms to your legs, legs to your arms, shoulder blades down the back, deep in the breath. and bring your fingertips to the floor, and then I want you to bring it up to a standing position. The one and only standing pose that we're doing in today's class, standing widespread. So from here, hands to the hips, big inhale, lift into the heart, and then as you exhale, I want you to hinge from the hips, keeping the neck long, and dropping it from here, not rounding the back. As I always tell people, imagine you have a plate right, right here on your tailbone, and you're working at taking it down the, the vertebrae breath, breath by breath. So lengthen through the spine, draw the shoulder blades down, breathe. And then slowly, Bring it up. Good. From here, you're going to walk your feet together. And again, we're going to take it right back down into a squat again. Get two of these in. So stick the bottom out, come down, hands into the leg, pushing out, deep in the breath. And then we're going to release. We're going to sit on our bottom. We're going to bring our feet together for butterfly, Baddhakonasana, the cobbler's pose. So hands around the feet, peel the feet apart, draw the shoulder blades down the back, work on lengthening these out and dropping them down to the floor. As you push the inner part of your foot together from the little toes all the way down to the heel. Peel your toes apart like you're opening up a book. and then you're gonna slowly release. Then you're going to crisscross your legs, take a great big inhale, lengthen, and as you exhale, twist and deepen. I always tell people, think of every time you twist a little bit deeper, it's like wringing out the spine of the old blood and bringing in the fresh blood as you release. So when you release, fresh oxygenated blood comes in. It's like getting a lube change for your spine. And same thing, inhale and exhale. Good, release from here. We're gonna lie on our backs and we're going to do two versions of the bridge. First a full bridge followed by a half bridge. So from here, arms to your side, palms down to start with. We're gonna do a full bridge, making sure the uh, feet are pulled in and you're gonna inhale. And then as you exhale, lift the hips, interlock the fingers, tuck the shoulder blades, keep your neck long, knees forward. Don't allow your legs to splay or spread and just hang out here. And release, untuck your shoulders, bring it down vertebrae by vertebrae, recline butterfly pose. together squeeze the legs in 
Now from here, grab your feet. Uh, some people grab on the outside or the inside. I'll grab on the inside for the bug pose. Really flatten your back out. Get that nice long spine. Really root down into your tailbone. And release. Again, squeeze it in. And one final move. Arms to the side. Twist. And rotate to the other side. Take a nice big twist. And back to the center. And stretch your legs out on the floor. For Shavasana, the resting pose. Arms to your side. Palms up. Just close your eyes and relax. Take these next few minutes and just allow yourself to be fully present with what this yoga class has given to you and your body. Breathe in and let go. Take the peace and the strength and share it. Namaste.